What's up, Fit Club? Coach Andrew here, and we are continuing on with the Improving the Squat series. So last week we went over ankle mobility. Today we're gonna to go over hip mobility as well as some strengthening exercises to help also get rid of some of the anterior pinching that you may be experiencing in that nice deep squat. Okay, so we're gonna start with some mobility. We're gonna do both passive as well as dynamic stretching. So number one over here, what you're gonna need is a band. And Let's just start with one leg to show you. You want to kind of get it up nice and high towards the hip flexor. We're going to do two types of stretches. We're going to do one for the hip flexor and then one for the glute. What this band is going to do, it's going to distract our thigh into the hip joint. So we're going to start into the hip flexor stretch with the knee down. We're going to squeeze that butt cheek forward and we're going to lunge this knee over top towards this toe. Just kind of like what we do in boot camps. And then just kind of play around with some of the rotations and what you're gonna feel is that band is distracting your hip joint out and it's gonna feel delicious. You can hang out here for about two minutes, just work into that posterior, into that capsule there, and then, then stretch number two, you're gonna cross this leg over, and what you can do is you can trap this knee right here, and then same thing, what you can do is sink your hip back, or you can even come out right into that pigeon pose that we do here, and then same thing, just kind of hang out there, let the band do its job, distract the hip, and that way all those connective tissues with the tendons crossing over the hip joint, we're getting some of that released. And again, hang out here for a minute or two, play around with some rotations, and then I would do that for both sides, okay? Number two is a dynamic stretch. This is called the dynamic pigeon. So it's like the one that we do at the end of class, but what you can do with this is for mobility before a workout. So you start over onto one side, and then you cross right over. Oh, I didn't stretch out this side. This side feels really good. And then same thing. With each rep, you're gonna find mobility return. And so if you can see what I'm doing, I'm starting with my chest down, and then I'm kind of kind of coming up into a high pigeon just so you can get a little bit of thoracic mobility. That way it's gonna help keep the chest up when you're doing your squats. All right, and I'll just go through that about 10, 10 times on each side. Oh, this is feeling good. Already feeling blood flowing to the area. Getting nice and warm. Strengthening wise, we're gonna do uh, two exercises. Number one, you're gonna need, you can start with body weight. I'm gonna use a kettlebell just so you can kind of see what it looks like. We're gonna come into a 90-90 position. So with the right leg, we're gonna come into external rotation, the left leg coming into internal rotation. Just get your knees bent to a 90-90. And what we wanna try and do here is we wanna try and sit up tall. And from here, we're gonna try and brace our core, tighten up the core, and you're gonna lift up from here. So we're pushing your anterior hip forward, getting a nice good stretch in through here. At the same time, strengthening on the other side as well. Okay, so adding the kettlebell will help just get a little bit more resistance in there. Keep your core tight, chest up tall. Breathe out and squeeze this glute forward. Getting a nice good stretch in through there, as well as squeezing into the inner thigh, as well as that posterior glute on the other side as well. And then again, go through a series of 10 reps, switch sides, and enjoy the burn there, okay? It's a motion you're not really used to, but it's gonna help grind out some of the kinks that's getting pinched up in through your tissues there. Exercise two, you're gonna need a very light TheraBand. I would not use those big bulky ones that we have here at the gym. Something nice and light, because we're just gonna focus on some of the smaller hip muscles. We're gonna come into a prone position, laying on your stomach. Bend your knees up here at 90, 90. You gotta pick one leg that you want to stabilize and the other leg is gonna be doing the motion. What we're gonna be doing is internal rotation as that's where some of the pinching can occur into the, uh, the hip joint. So from here, tighten up your core, squeeze in those butt cheeks, and you're gonna bring one leg away from the other one. So in this position here, this is internal rotation. 
And again, I would go 10 reps, making sure that other leg is nice and stable, that core stays tight, that way your pelvis isn't being pulled apart. And then again, 10 reps, repeat to the other side. Once you've gone through the series, give it a whirl and see how your squats are feeling. Chest should be more upright, hips should be nice and loose, and you should be able to sink a little bit deeper. All right? Hope you like that. That's the part two of hip series. Stay tuned for next week. We're gonna go through some core bracing instructions. We're gonna revisit some of the internal rotation while we're bracing the core. Looking forward to it. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. If you yourself are seeking any athletic therapy, please find me at the information below. I'm Coach Andrew from Fit Club. Everybody, enjoy your thirsty Thursday.